Hello guys, here I am again. So, good news. We just hit take profit on DAX. We make another $1,600 on DAX. We had two positions open and we both closed them and we increased our profits for today to $4,404. We are left with our French Indice, silver, and oil. So soon we will hit also some profits over there. Let's wait for it. Thank you. Hello again, guys. So we are getting ready, as you can see, to hit TPs on uh, Euro Yen and Euro Dollar. So we are very close to hit our TPs. Nice trades. So we are just nine pips away from the take profit of Euro Yen and just nine pips away from the take profit of Euro USD. You see the green color has lightened up on my screen. So let's check also the pair of Euro Yen is declining nicely for the moment. So we have already recovered the losses of the previous long positions and that's the substance of the Forex hedging system that I'm currently using. So for the moment they are developing very well and it would be very interesting to see if we will hit our TPs on Euro Dollar and Euro Yen. So I'm closely monitoring both and I will update you accordingly in case we hit TPs or we in case we reverse positions again. Thank you. Okay, guys, great news. Great news. As you have observed, we have closed our Euro Yen positions and also Euro Dollar is getting ready to for the TP to get triggered. So we have closed Euro Yen positions and we have raised for the moment our profits to $4,628. There we go. Euro dollar is getting ready. We just need a few more pips. As you can see, the price is now testing the MA of 200 periods. Let's see, guys, if we will manage and close our TP on Euro dollar. We closed it on Euro yen and we have raised our profits to $4,628. Euro dollar is very, very, very close to hit our TP. We just need one more down tick and I believe we will get it. So keep an eye on my screen for more profits, guys. We are doing great today. We have closed positions on all the pounds, pound Aussie, pound dollar, pound yen. And we have just closed also our profits on Euro yen. And as we can see, Euro dollar is developing extremely well. Already the biggest short in hedging position has covered the losses of the long position and is currently in the money. So you are monitoring my screen. Next trade most probably to hit TP is Euro USD. Thank you. And guys, good news again. Well done, guys. So we have just also closed our Euro dollar positions. So Euro dollar hit TP. And we are square on Euro dollar as well. And we have just raised our profits for the day to $5,661. So for the moment, we are doing great. We have closed positions on pound dollar, on pound Aussie, TPs, on pound yen, on Euro yen, and on Euro dollar. $5,661 are already in my pockets. Let's see how the remaining of the trades will develop standby guys there is more volatility in the markets and we enjoy that let's see how they will react thank you so guys good afternoon and welcome to our afternoon live trading session here at trading.com 
we have it's a pleasure to see new people joining us and it's a pleasure to see our family growing up day by day so i would like in this live trading session to welcome fred stills so who has just joined us and also nina from canada welcome also mary so guys a lot of um, some of you are asking me if you can follow any, any of my trades it's up to you guys but be, especially for the newcomers it will be much better to tr to watch the trading room one two days to understand exactly how i'm trading which is what exactly i will do now i will explain exactly what the strategy is you can see it one two days applied and then you can decide which trades you will follow always at your own personal discretion so let's go and see first of all what are our current positions as you can see the philosophy of this strategy is if a trade is going against me to reverse my position sizes increase them and eventually make money out of it for example uh, on uh, pound yen if, as you can see i have started with a long position with a stop loss and a tp but why shall i hit stop loss and lose three and a half thousand dollars what i have done i have reversed my long position to short but as you can see here with a bigger position size this bigger position size is calculated using an excel spreadsheet that your personal account managers at trademe.com have it okay so this spreadsheet you have the initial position which can vary based on your account size account balance basically from 0 0.05 lots up to one lot but if you open one lot you need to see the reversals we might need to change seven times the positions with a bigger position size so this is how I'm trading. I don't allow a trade to hit a stop loss. Instead, if I see that it's going against me, I'm reversing the position from long to short, let's say. And uh, I use a new stop loss and a TP. Okay, so instead of losing, for example, three and a half thousand dollars, we have managed to make seven hundred and fifty dollars from our hedge positions on pound yen. Pound dollar was a straightforward trade. We shorted it, no need for reversals. We got the money. The same for Euro Yen, as you can observe. I have entered a, a long position on Euro Yen, and then I have reverted it to short. And the same for Euro Dollar. I have entered a long position and I have reverted it to short. Now, what do we have this afternoon? This afternoon, as you can see, I have, on, I have entered a short position on Aussie dollar for the moment it's a straightforward trade no need for reversals on the Kiwi however I have entered long and then I have reversed to short okay so if uh, if you see a positive number there so for the Kiwi forget about the long I'm short now so if you see a positive number there it means that if you decide to follow me now on this short position it means that you will get it at a much worse price than what I did because I have shorted it at 757 and now it's at 740. The same for dollar cut. 20 minutes ago, someone asked me if he can follow me on any trades and I said dollar cut and the Kiwi, these two pairs were in negative territory. Now they are no longer in negative territory. You can follow me if you wish, guys, on uh, my long position on dollar yen because I'm long, okay? And you see there are a minus sign. I'm long at 768 and the price now it's at 716. So if you would like to follow me on dollar yen, you can do it with a predetermined stop loss and take profit, but I might reverse this position at any moment. So if I get reversals, I will update you in the uh, live trading room. Okay, so this is how I'm trading. I hope Nina is, is okay. You have understood it and for all the newcomers, but it is very important to get that Excel spreadsheet I have prepared, which calculates the next reversal position size. Okay, 
And tomorrow I will explain again how this works using that Excel. Now, for the moment, what are the positions that I have? I'm short Aussie dollar. Entry level price was 0 0.71193. Stop loss 0 0.71763. And TP 0 0.7843. All right. Now, next one. I'm short the Kiwi for the moment. New Zealand dollar USD entry level was at 0 0.65757. Stop loss 0 0.66327 and TP 0 0.64407. Next one, I'm long dollar cut. Entry level was at 1.3892. Stop loss 1.3322 and TP at 1.31242. Moreover, I'm long dollar CHF at 0.99622, stop loss 0.99052, and TP 0.99972. And the last trade I have, it's a long position. On dollar yen at 112.768, stop loss 112.198, and TP at 130.118. Now, another thing that is important for you to know, guys, is that every morning I'm trading 10 forex pairs. Okay? Euro dollar, dollar card, dollar yen, euro yen, pound dollar, Aussie dollar, Kiwi, dollar CHF. Pound Aussie and Pound Yen. So 10 Forex pairs. If we close positions during the day on one Forex pair, I'm not trading it again unless I see an important, an important price pattern. So since I have closed positions on um, Euro Yen, Euro Dollar second, Pound Aussie third, Pound Yen fourth, and Pound Dollar fifth. So out of 10, Five forex pairs have closed positions. I'm not trading again the, again today this pair. So I'm left with the other five. Okay. And left them to run. Okay. So tomorrow, if these pairs are still running, I will not trade them these five. I will trade the five that have closed. For example, if I see that Aussie dollar is still running, Q is still running, dollar card is still running, dollar CHF is still running, dollar yen is still running, I will trade tomorrow euro dollar which closed today, euro yen, pound Aussie, pound dollar, pound yen. Is it clear how I'm trading, guys? Is it clear if you have any questions? Excellent. Alan, thank you very much for your response. What about the rest of you? Uh, because that's my thank you Nuno for your question I see that Mary has a question uh, Mary you are free to type your question in the trading room it's not because of the average daily range is because that's my strategy I mean it's very it's a very rare phenomenon for a, because I'm aiming for 35 pips profit it's a very rare thing to see a 70 pips decline during a day on a forex pair. Hello, Mary. So if I get 35 pips, because my take profit is at 35 pips, no, no. If I get it, I say thank you very much. Tomorrow is a new day. Rachel, excellent. Rachel, excellent. E, okay. <laughs> Welcome, Rachel. Mary, are you referring to me? What is your usual ratio between stop loss and TP? Okay. Now, because I'm using hedging positions, because I'm using hedging positions, usually I reverse my position 
if uh, if the if the price gets away from my entering level 22 pips okay so i don't have stop losses okay i don't have stop losses i just have 22 pips reversal and i have the tp stop loss i don't have it if one position hits tp then all the rest are, i'm closing them okay all right so rachel is regarding the explanation about why i'm not trading again the same pairs i think you are referring to that right so if i get i want to repeat that if i get 35 pips all right thank you very much for the money and i'm just going away i don't want to get greedy because it's very difficult from a forex pair to get 70 pips in one day i'm not saying it's impossible but we are not here to show impossible things and all very difficult things we are here to trade make our profits and tomorrow is a new day so that's more or less the way i'm trading guys as i said uh, it's a fixed target it's a fixed target and let me show you what i mean for example let's look on the profitable trades okay uh, i i i open this trade that uh, is a short position at 195 and it has closed at 617 that's 35 pips you see that nuno entry level 129.95 Closing price close to 35 pips. Another trade opened at 217 and I closed it at 88.3, close to 35 pips. Paunozi. Let's go down and see Paunozi. Paunozi, there it is. But what what can you observe here, guys? I see a sell, I see a buy, and I see again a sell. Now the buys are closed on the same price. You see that? And the sell. On the stop loss so if the sell hits stop loss automatically i'm closing the buys so it's not that, it's not that complicated but definitely guys if you want to learn the strategy okay currently this strategy today is giving me five thousand six hundred and sixty one dollars but if you like to know an in-depth understanding from it you need to come to one to one sessions to say more about it and not only that you can even optimize it based on your own parameters i mean maybe you don't want 30 35 uh, pips maybe you want to keep your trades longer for two three more days all right um my broker my i <laughs> my broker you to tell me that it's chasing the market okay <laughs> all right okay my broker used to tell me that it's chasing the market. No, we are not chasing the markets. Uh, we are just adjusting our positions based on the directional volatility of the markets. And what do I mean directional volatility? It means volatility with a direction. For example, today on dollar CHF, I don't have a directional volatility. You see that? If you see that, let's see. No, I don't want it like this. Just a moment, please. All right, so it went up, down, and then direction up, and then direction down. That's not directional volatility. On Paunozi, for example, we had directional volatility. There it is. Volatility with direction. On Pound Yen, we had directional volatility. We had a nice movement with a direction. On Pound Dollar, we had directional volatility. That's why the Pound has treated us very well today. On euro dollar we had directional volatility even though it's slower than the pounds but we still hit take profits on euro yen we had directional volatility even this small movement i just want directional volatility on aussie dollar for example you see the difference it's not breaking we i don't have a directional volatility that's why i still have this position running is it clear guys we are looking for directional volatility that's what we call it the the chartered market technicians and the technicians around the world we are we, we want for directional volatility on forex and as i have told you forex for me is a very safe instrument to trade what kills is leverage i mean the average volatility of a forex pair from bottom to top do you know how much it is is 0 0.40 or 0. 45 percent per day 
Of course. Uh, okay. Very good question. Very good question, Nuno. How do you reverse during the night if position is still open? All right. That's the reason why you need to come to a one-to-one -one session. I will show you the process of how to place uh, orders during overnight. Uh, Elif has an update though. I'm not avoiding the question. Elif has an update. Let's go straight to Elif. Hello, guys. <laughs> Welcome to the afternoon session with me. We hit take profit, guys. We closed our positions on on France 40, guys. We closed. Hello, Mary. Nice to have you here. I was missing you this morning. Hello, Ellen. No, no. Hello. Nice to have you guys here. <laughs> So I missed you guys during the day. So uh, Mary, you missed the morning. Yeah, Ellen, you can't see me now. I have a technical, small technical issue. And in the afternoon, you will not see me this morning. Yeah, I know you want to see my face, <laughs> my nice face. I know it, my smile. But uh, still, OK, tomorrow you will see me all day long. Tomorrow you will see me all day long, no problem. Today only in the morning we had this possibility and now I have a bad hair day. <laughs> Let's see, I have a bad hair day. However, guys, we managed to increase our profit so far to 5,738 euros, uh, dollars. We closed France 40. We had two positions open. We closed both of them. We closed our silver position. We closed our two DAX position and our gold position. We are clean, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we are clean uh, before the American US market starts. I just wanted to tell something in addition to what uh, Kiriakos told you. Um, maybe for you guys, <laughs> maybe um, to understand the difference um, what um, between my way of trading and Kiriakos' way of trading. Uh, Kiriakos doesn't trade at the same, the same asset again, again the same day. I do. You know, guys, you are following us for a very long time. I do uh, trade the same asset the same day again because I'm chasing chasing is maybe the wrong word for it but uh, on the indices they don't get easily in one trend they it's very rare that's maybe once a week that we have um, an uptrend all the time on indices we have reversal so that's why I uh, try to buy the dips and sell the sell the tops. This is what I'm trying to do while Kiriakos is entering a trend. So that's why I'm, uh, I used to trade the same uh, asset several times a day while Kiriakos, he uh, gets into the trend. He uh, trades the trend and then for the next day um, for that day he starts he stops to trade the same asset that's the difference between uh, both so just to know for you guys so um, well as I said we just closed our France 40 position I think we have made two kings in the trading room we have Anthony King and we have George King it's full of kingdom here. <laughs> nice, nice. Welcome, welcome, Anthony, to our live trading session. Use. <laughs> we need. What is it? Minixer. Ah, yeah, Ella. <laughs> we need. Ah, you need music. I see, Ellen. You need music. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we build up over here a kingdom. I hope it will not uh, end up at Game of Thrones. Yeah? <laughs> Correct. So, however. Um, before the American opening, um, we will 
check shortly, but I know that Kiriakos had uh, didn't finish his explanation. Um, I just wanted to tell you guys that we closed our France 40 position and we are looking now forward for the US opening and we will trade the US opening as always here at trading.com. So I will pass now to Kiriakos to finish his explanation. Then we will be back here with me to trade the US opening. So Kiriakos, please. Thank you very much. So uh, let's continue from where I have stopped. Nuno have asked me a very good question. How do you deal with the pending orders overnight? Okay, guys, you need to understand that some things cannot be told publicly. It's not a secret. I don't have any problem sharing this with you guys. But that's the reason and the value of the one-to-one -one sessions. So if you would like to know more about this, you definitely need to, to come to a one-to-one -one session. We can not only explain you how this works, we can even identify what type of trader you are, Nuno. Maybe you are not an intraday trader. Maybe it's more suitable for you and best your trading profile to be a short-term trader and let the positions run for two, three days. Maybe that's better for you. So you definitely need to come to one-to-one -one sessions in order to examine all the parameters to identify what type of trader you are and then we can adjust that, okay? Uh, Anthony, hello from Canada. Daniel, you have one tomorrow. All right, great. Sure, you are very welcome, Nuno. Welcome. A lot of people from Canada. I mean, Elif, who else is from Canada? We have, I think it's, uh, I don't remember who else is from Canada. I think, who else is from Canada? We have we have a few of people from Canada, and I remember one is from British Columbia as well, from Canada. So, guys, a lot of participants from Canada. We have from the UK. We have from Sweden. We we have from Canada, as I said. Which one? Portugal. Portugal yes, of course, from Portugal, S Australia, New Zealand. So, good collection. Yes, exactly, Daniel. So. Um, the positions are still uh, developing, as you can see, guys. Some of them are making money. Some of them are trying to recover and make money eventually. So I'm patiently waiting for these trades to develop. We are now a few minutes away from our uh, U.S. opening. The markets in the U.S. are about to open. As I said, I'm not expecting any important news today. However, the pounds... The Euro Yen, the Euro Dollar, the Pound Dollar, the Pound Yen, the Pound Aussie. Five pairs. We have already closed them with a profit. Currently, I'm up $5,661. We let the other trades develop and we will see how the trades, how the trades will evolve through the night. Okay, so we are not closing any positions. We are letting them develop. And tomorrow morning when we come back, of course, we will see how these trades are performing. So how many of you have traded Aussie dollar today? Currently is my best performing trade for the moment and also is followed by the long position I have on dollar cut. So guys, how many of you have followed me on Aussie dollar or dollar cut? Just type in the chat room uh, so that I know and uh, let's see how the day will develop. Okay. We pass to a leaf, right? Yes, not yet. You hit take profit, right? It's getting there. I can see that. All right, let's go straight to a leaf with the US Open. Enjoy it, guys. Guys, we hit another take profit on gold. Guys, we hit a take profit and we increase our our daily profits to $10,518. We hit a take profit on gold with $5,000. You see it here. And we see next one. However, however, we check now. Um, 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 um. The U.S. opening is coming very, very close, very close. Let me see. During the U.S. opening, what are we trading, guys? You know, we are trading Dow Jones, which is on the, our platform called USA 30. And we are trading USA 100 on our platform. It's called... <laughs> USA, uh, NASDAQ. Let me see. So... 
let's see guys let's see how what we are trading during the u.s opening for all of our newcomers just to explain for all our newcomers what we are trading during the u.s opening currently we have earning release period which means all the shares which are included in the u.s indices are releasing their earnings the q3 earnings and this is pushing the price of the index up or down according to the result and we are trying to trade this movement so um the u.s market will open in approximately six minutes so the shares will be available in six minutes to trade on on the wall street so the prices of the shares will move and since the indices are reflecting the prices of the shares we will have also a move on the indices we see already a certain amount of volatility on usa 30 this is the chart of usa 30 this is the chart of usa 100 we see already a tension here so let's get ready let's get ready for the next one for the next one we have another five minutes to go and i see that also our second position on gold is getting ready to hit take profit it's over here our sell position on gold we closed already ten thousand dollars today if we hit also this take profit it's another four thousand two hundred fifty dollars very close to hit another mm -hmm. almost there almost there alan, alan closed also on gold good job alan well done well done let me see let me see guys eight hundred dollars alan closed eight hundred dollars on gold <laughs> okay i will leave gold i think during the u.s opening it will have a move guys we have another four minutes to go for the u.s opening on dow jones i will go long i check the pre-opening of the markets and they point all long positions so i'm going long on usa 30 here we go we just opened a long position on usa 30. our first position in the afternoon let's put also a take profit we will put our take profit very conservative very very conservative guys I will put my take profit on Dow Jones here at 25,530, which is approximately $700 profit. So, another three minutes to go for the opening. Let me see on USA 100 if we get anything on USA 100. on usa 100 i uh, don't see much of possibility to enter what's going on on oil right now okay oil is moving nicely we are very close to hit our take profit on gold it's just the spread which is which remained here to hit our take profit as you know we uh, come on come on 
So for all of you newbies, during the US opening, I'm trading very fast. I'm scalping, I'm entering and I'm exiting trades. It might happen that I close a trade with a loss because the NDC takes a direction and we um, we need to close the trade with a loss but immediately we would open the opposite direction over here or we might even hatch if we see that the position gets into a range just for your information uh, here we go we paid off the spread on usa 30 another 15 seconds to go for the us opening and we see already the tension on the markets you see here very nice the reversal on usa 30 on usa 100 i still didn't open a position i there we go the market just opened dow jones is a bit dropping now getting ready to hit our take profit on usa 100 i'm going long i just opened a long position on usa 100 and i will put my take profit on it let me put my take profit on on guys, guys we just hit take profit on usa 30 we just hit take profit on usa 30 we made another 700 dollars ching ching so on um usa 100 we are still paying off the spread we will put a take profit also here at seven thousand one hundred sixty seven thousand one hundred sixty is our take profit for usa 100 now for usa 30 let me see we are going long again on usa 30 there we go we just opened again a long position on usa 30 on usa 100 we are making right now 200 dollars 300 dollars very close there we go we hit another take profit on usa 100 now during the pullback we will enter again wait for the pullback come on we are checking USA 100. I wait for the pullback. There we go. We opened another position on USA 100. Again, long. We are again long on USA 100. Let's put another take profit. Here, we will put a take profit at 7,100. 70 7170 this is our next take profit so we increased our profit so far for today to eleven thousand five hundred eighty eight dollars so eleven thousand five hundred eighty eight dollars and now another come on come on guys i'm buying again usa 100 oh i deal we we were a bit late to enter again we increased our exposure on usa 100 but we had a bit delayed our entry level guys let me see we put the same take profit here Seven thousand one hundred seventy. Almost paying off our spread. On Dow Jones, we have to. We have to. There we go. There we go. Come on here. Very close. 
Uh, okay, come on. One push more and we are there. On USA 100, we are making right now $150. We have also a position open on USA 30. We are making $400. Let's put also here. Also, there we go. We hit a take profit on USA 100. On USA 100, we hit take profit. And gold. And on gold, we hit also <laughs> on gold the take profit. Guys, the take profits are running right now. Look at this. We increased our exposure to $16,000. On gold, I'm getting ready to open again. Woo! Yes, Alan, we have a nice trade. Now we increased our profits to $16,000 on gold. I'm getting ready to open again a short position, guys. We are getting ready on gold to open again a short position. I'm selling gold. I just sold gold. There we go. I just sold gold and we already paid off the... Uh, my target for the day, Mary, tell me what should be the target of the day. <laughs> you wish I do. 20k. Okay, Mary. 20k is there. <laughs> Ellen, 100k is a bit difficult. Come on. <laughs> so, but 20k is easily in. 20k is easily in. Okay, Dow Jones is dropping extremely, guys. Look at this, it's dropping. I will sell. I'm hatching now Dow Jones. I just hatched down Jones. Just hatch Dow Jones, guys. Because it's dropping extremely, as you can see. These are moments where you have to decide. If you will keep this buy position, guys, if you want to keep these buy positions or not, I will keep it. I will keep it. I will keep my buy position for USA 30, and I will explain you in a few minutes why I want to keep it. On gold, I will put a take profit, guys. On gold, I will put a take profit at 1,200. 20, yeah, 1,220. And then we have to be careful. If gold drops below 1,220, then the next target is the 1,200. So, on Dow Jones, we have to think now with Dow Jones what we will do. Uh, our USA 100 positions, we closed already. Okay, guys. Let me see. I will sell USA 100. I'm selling right now USA 100. And I will put a take profit at... I will put a take profit on USA 100 at 7,145 is my take profit. There we go. Very close to hit. Very close to hit. There we go. We just hit it. We just hit. I will take profit and I'm getting ready to close also my U no my USA 100 position is making right now $1,000, $1,100. I will close it at 25,440.
Here we go. This is my take profit for USA 100, and I'm getting ready to. Oh, Alan Close also Dow Jones with $200 profit. We are making right now $1,300 profit on this position. Guys, I'm selling again USA 100. I just sold again USA 100. USA 100. We just sold again USA 100 and our take profit here is at... Seven thousand one hundred twenty-five. So on Dow Jones, my take profit is at one thousand eight hundred dollars. Come on, baby. Our target is 20,000. Guys, our target is 20,000. We are now at 16,915. We have still a position open on gold, a sell position on gold. We still have uh, two positions open on Dow Jones. We are hedged on Dow Jones. And we have a sell position open on USA 100. On gold, I'm even considering. We have here a pullback, guys, on gold. I see that we have a pullback here on gold, and I'm. Let me see. I'm considering. When I see. A reversal pattern on gold that I will increase here my exposure as well and scalp the movement. So this means when I see on my stochastic oscillator that the value goes above 80 and we have a cross of the small... Uh, uh, no, okay. That the... So has this fast moving stochastic oscillator and the slow moving oscillator will cross above 80. I will short again gold. I will short again gold at that moment, but right now I will still leave it. So currently we are making $700 on USA 30 and $120 on USA 100. Come on, a bit more. We are oh, we increased our profits on USA 100 to $300. And our take profit is at $500. Come on. On Dow Jones, our profit, our take profit is at $1,800 and we are currently making, there we go, we are getting ready for our take profits, guys. Get, ching, 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 on USA 30, we hit again a take profit and we increased our profits for today to 18,774,000. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. So, on USA 100, we are getting the next take profit on USA 100, guys. USA 100, get ready for the next take profit. On Dow Jones, I will enter again a short position. Hold on, get ready. Get ready for the next short position on USA 30. There we go. We just Yep, we just shorted USA 30 again. We just shorted USA 30. We have a target of 20k, guys. 
another one thousand three hundred dollars to go <laughs> Yes. yes, Ellen. Anybody following or everybody following? <laughs> Ellen. Ellen. Yeah, Daniel is always following us. He no. knows no. how to earn money. <laughs> it's going, it's going fast. too fast. So, uh, Daniel was... So, so there we go. There we go. We are getting again into the money. Ellen's second trade on gold is making a small loss, but that's okay. Mine is also making a small loss. But as I said, we are aiming eventually to enter again a short position on gold. So on usa 30 currently we are making 300 dollars and let me put here also a take profit 25,420 is my take profit so there we go guys Another push and we get there. So, on Dow Jones, our next take profit is at $859. And come on, it's time to hit our 20K. On gold, my take profit on gold. Is at. Is at 1,220. My take profit on gold is at 1,220, Ellen. No, Ellen, I wouldn't put it below 1,220 because it's a crucial moment. You see it has huge difficulties to break through it. Um, we have to think about to adjust it eventually. If it breaks through, then it will drop until, let me see. Uh, most probably it will drop then until 1215 and it might reverse at that level so just be aware of take your take profit to 1220-ish level and if we have a Great, Alan. If we have a break out there, we still can enter a new trade. So, we have still our positions running. No take profit got hit. We slowed down a bit. We slowed down a bit on USA 100 and USA 30. Mm -hmm. Let's check uh, what happened on the Forex side and we will come back here to the indices. Kiriakos, how it's going? One moment. Uh, guys, everything stuck for the moment. Uh, I'm patiently waiting for the trades. Nice cap, yes, it's a very nice cap with our logo on it. Thank you, Alan. So, okay, you can order. That's a big cup of coffee, exactly, Nuno. <laughs> It's, it's, it's coffee inside. 
it's included in the one-to-one. -one. Okay, you need to talk with your account managers about that. Why not? Tell them that I suggested that. For every one-to-one -one session to give you one cup of trading me. So, that's another motive to come to a one-to-one -to -one session, Nuno. <laughs> so, what do we have? We have the same positions we had uh, 30 minutes ago, guys. Uh, they are not uh, moving so fast. Uh, Aussie dollar is in the money. Short position of the queue is in the money. We are making money, but we don't have the volatility that we want. As a result, I'm keeping these positions overnight. And we will examine tomorrow and see which of them has uh, have reversed, which of them have closed. And for those of you who have been with us for a few months, you will notice that sometimes after we finish our trading session between, uh, let's say, 3 and 5 UTC time, 3 and 5 PM UTC time, uh, a lot of movement is, is done in the Forex market after the European session closes. So we have the American session. And significant movement is sometimes made during these hours. So I'm keeping the positions as they are. And as you can see, I'm short Aussie dollar. I'm short the Kiwi. I'm long dollar cut. I'm also long dollar CHF. And I'm long dollar yen. So these are the five forex pairs that have survived today, let's say. I have closed uh, trades on the other uh, five forex pairs. Remember that every day I have positions on 10 forex pairs except if it is friday now why i'm not trading if i have any open positions on thursday i keep the same positions on friday because i'm trying to avoid to have open positions during weekends okay so i'm placing my last trades let's say on thursday and then i keep the same on friday so those of you who are with us for a few months, you know that already, just for the newcomers, because I see that we have a lot of newcomers. And uh, it's nice to have uh, new people here in the TradeMe.com live trading room. Just for the newcomers, just have in mind that based on my philosophy of trading, I'm not, I, try, I try not to initiate any positions on Fridays. So these are the positions currently running. A leaf has just hit another take profit. Let's go to a leaf. Jing, guys, another two take profits. We hit another two take profits. The one on USA 30 and the other one on USA 100. And we increased our profits to 20,135 dollars, guys. 20,000. We hit our take profit. We hit our target, guys. So nice one, nice one. So we can go now satisfied home. Yes, target reached. Target reached. And this is what we want, right, guys? This is what we like and enjoy. And uh, <laughs> what I'm doing, Ellen, <laughs> you don't want to know. You don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Kiriakos just answered. Just answered. I'm a woman. Yes, I'm going to buy a new car. <laughs> no, guys, no. <laughs> yes, Ellen. <laughs> I want a Bentley. <laughs> yes, I'm a woman and I like cars. Yes, that's the truth. <laughs> However, back to trading. Ching ching. Yes, we enjoyed our afternoon trading. We made 20k, another 20k today, and the markets, especially USA 30 and USA 100. I'm just looking for a short pullback to enter again. It's so clear. I mean, why I should stop here? Let me see. Let me see. Yes, yes, guys, I'm selling again USA 100 and USA 30. And um, I will put my take profit this time a bit more narrow. Um, where we should put our take profit. 
where we should put our tech work. You see this setup, guys. This is crystal clear. You see this setup? It's such a crystal clear setup. Why to stop the possibilities of trading when we know that it will work, right? So I will put my take profit here. Hmm. Just for you to know, guys, if the price reaches 25,345, there we should make a break on Dow Jones. On Dow Jones, we should make a break at that level. Mm -hmm. So we will put a take profit at... 25,360. This is my take profit for this trade. And then we have to make a break because I have to see if it drops below the daily low or if it will reverse. Because as you can see, mm, the oscillator is going towards the oversold area, which means it might cause a reversal and it hits also at the day's low. So just be prepared and make a break after you hit this take profit if you follow. If you follow, just make a break if it hits the take profit here. As you can see also on gold, we make, and now it took more time than usual to hit this take profit of just $3,800. That's because it is in a very crucial level. So, on USA 100, we have to take also, we have to put also a take profit over here. I will put my take profit here, okay, at 7,095. 7,095 is my take profit here. And we will get some money in, hopefully. So, this is, there we go, we are very close to hit our next take profit on Dow Jones, guys. On Dow Jones, we are making right now $600. Get ready for the next take profit. There we go, ching, ching, another take profit on Dow Jones. $659 on Dow Jones, and I told you guys we have to wait now, and for this trade, we just needed three minutes. Now we have to break. We have to make a break on Dow Jones. If it drops below the daily low, we can continue selling Dow Jones. But currently we have to make a small break. So on USA 100, what's going on on USA 100? Yeah, come on. Another push and we get our take profit, $600 from USA 100. Another one push and we get our money in also here. Hmm. Come on. It was a nice, nice afternoon, guys. We made $20,000. We hit our target, $20,000 today. And there is still, we have still positions open to hit, take profits. Our gold position is in a nice setup usa 100 is in a very nice setup and on usa 30 i'm expecting 
There we go. Another one take profit, and we increased our profits for today to twenty-one thousand four hundred seventy-two dollars. Twenty-one thousand. And we still have the gold trade, which uh, we expect three thousand three thousand eight hundred dollars on the gold trade. Hmm. In German, we would say "läuft." <laughs> "Läuft," guys. So. Kiriakos, what about you? Okay, guys, basically the Forex pairs are not moving at all. We have a stability on the rates, on the exchange rates. We had some nice movements in the morning. We had some nice movements in the afternoon. Now everything's stuck, nothing moves. It's part of the Forex market procedures, as you can understand. Uh, uh, let me revise my positions. As I said, I'm keeping these positions overnight. When we come back tomorrow, we will see how many of them have reversed. So for your records, I'm short Aussie dollar. I'm uh, short the Kiwi. I'm long the Looney. I'm uh, long dollar CHF and long dollar yen. Just for your information, I have closed trades on Euro yen, Euro dollar, pound Aussie, pound yen and pound dollar. We have made some nice $5,660 for the day. I'm patiently waiting for tomorrow, looking forward to see you all tomorrow in another live trading room session. So for the moment, five Forex pairs are still developing. Nothing has changed for the moment. No reversal of positions. I would like to thank you all for being here with us, especially the old people and the new people who have joined us. Very nice to see that the family is growing, that new People are joining our trading room. What I suggest, guys, especially for Forex, just watch me one, two, three days and then start following me always at your absolute discretion. Elif, do you have any updates? Okay, guys, that's all for the moment. I, we will see you again tomorrow at 8 a.m. UTC time. Thank you very much for being with us. Have a nice afternoon and we will see you tomorrow here at TradeMe.com. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.